Right guys, got a request here from Kaya Robinson. Wants a rubber band powered car made from CDs, cardboard, tape, glue, pencils. I guess the pencils have to be the axles. Got to carry an egg and it's got to go for 10 metres. Well, that sounds like a good junk pile project for me because I've got plenty of cardboard, plenty of CDs. I suspect I've got some pencils somewhere. And I've just nicked an egg box from my wife. So we have got some eggs downstairs because I've just emptied it. But that I'll use uh, I'll use that for carrying the egg. No point in trying to reinvent the wheel, that'll do fine. Got a nice piece of cardboard there, quite a thick piece. That'll save me trying to find any more. Although you can see I've got plenty more there anyway. Uh, so, see if we can make a space. We'll just glue that on top. Put some tubes at the front and the back for the axles to go through. I've got some pencils there. I'll use those for the axles. So I need to find tubes that are big enough for those to go through. They don't make very good axles to be honest, but we'll use them. And I've got plenty of CDs, so we'll get to work. First little problem to solve is if we've got to use pencils for the axles, we want some nice big tubes for the axle tubes. So I've got this highlighter pen and I think if I pull that apart, if I can, that should be big enough. Yeah, that'll be a nice loose fit for the pencil. So I'll cut that into four pieces and that'll do for our axle tubes. And we'll throw that away. Do four pieces. four pieces. I'll just trim the edges up a bit. Right. So I'll glue them on each corner. I'll use hot glue. There's nothing in the specification that says I can't, so I'll do that. Doesn't mention bottle tops. I always use bottle tops on my CDs. So I don't know whether I should assume I can't use bottle tops in this build or not. I guess if you can't use bottle tops you could just glue some bits of cardboard straight across to fill in the hole in the middle. I'm now working on the assumption that I can't use bottle tops because they weren't on the list. So I've cut some pieces of cardboard and I'm just going to glue them across the middle of the CD. 
so that it fills in the hole so we can get the pencil through in the right place. So I'm warming up my hot glue gun. I'll glue them on. I've no doubt you can use plenty of other glues to do it. I expect Gorilla Glue would do the job. Or maybe even Yoohoo. I might try that. Stinks need to have good ventilation, but I might do that. To make sure that we get the pencils right through the middle of the hole, I'll glue the cardboard on one side first, push a pencil through the middle so we get the centre right, and then I'll glue the other side afterwards. So I'll do all four of them one side first. While they're drying, I'll just glue these tubes onto the cardboard. Make sure they stick out a little bit. Right, I'll leave that to cool down now as well. At the front end here, to hook the rubber band, I'm going to cut a couple of slots in there. Just like that. Because then your rubber band can go in there. And that holds it in place. Like I said, to carry the egg, I'm going to use an egg box. Just going to glue that straight on top of here, but we need space for the rubber band to go underneath it. So I've got a couple more bits of cardboard that I'll glue on either side. So we've got a gap underneath. There we go. So I'll just glue that straight on top. We've got a nice gap underneath. Right, back again. Right, so we need to push some holes through the middle for the pencils to go through. stick the other bits of cardboard on the other side. This is to make it wider so there's something for the axle to grip onto. Alright, so I'm going to use my hot glue gun this time. should do the job. You probably don't need this glue because they're going to be a nice tight fit on there anyway. Make sure we've got a bit of free play at the back there. 
Right, I know quite a few of you have trouble trying to attach the rubber band to the back axle. The easiest thing to do is to glue a little bit of... I've got a bit of barbecue skewer there. Just glue it straight on there and that gives you something to hook the rubber band onto. Or you could drill a little hole straight through and put a little peg through the hole. Right. I'm going to try it with just one rubber band, so I'm going to tie a bit of string or cotton onto there to extend it so that it gets to the back here. I've got some kite string that I'll use. To tie the band to the string, the easiest thing to do is just make a loop on the end of the string. One of those ones round your finger so you've got a, a loop. Push that through. So you've got a nice simple loop there. And then put that through. That'll hold that bit of rubber band, and then you want the string to be just long enough to get to the back axle. So I'm just holding that there so I can judge it. I want it just about there. So I'll do the same sort of loop at that end. Looks about right. So, rubber band needs to go into that slot again. through there, through the gap that we left. And that hooks onto there to wind it up. So we better go and try it and put an egg inside. I gave it a quick test run and we're a bit low on grip so we can either add some more weight or I'm going to demonstrate putting rubber tyres on. I've got some old rubber gloves here which are <laughs> falling apart, the fingers have come off them. So I'm going to cut strips and then stretch them over the back wheels. So there we are, some nice pink rubber tyres, and that should increase the grip. Right, to test this over 10 metres, we need to start from right back here in my hallway, and it needs to go through the kitchen into my conservatory. 
and we need an egg. Got to move the carpets. <laughs> but that would have done it. That'll do. That's 10 metres all but a little bit because it hit the carpet at the end. So 10 metre run with the egg. Job done.